Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up a gallery. Um, we, already, we already configured the basic settings for WP Photo Seller and created a price list. Now today we're gonna set up a gallery. So to get to the gallery page, under WP Photo Seller in the menu here, just click on gallery. And then you can set up the uh, general settings here if you want to. And then to create a new gallery, just click on the create new gallery button. All right, we'll just give it a name. I'm gonna upload a few pictures of food, so I'm just gonna call this gallery food. And I only have one price list set right now, so I'm gonna choose that one. And then there's a couple different um, templates that you can choose, and this gives you an idea of what they of, of what they look like. I'm just gonna leave it at the default, at template one, and I'm gonna leave the sort order the same. I'm not gonna password protect this gallery because I want it to be available to the public. And we could set up a couple more options here if we want. Um, if we uncheck this, it'll use a light box, but it, otherwise we can have the photo show up on its own page. And this is where if we want to watermark um, our images, so I'm just gonna put my name in there, watermark it with my name. And I'll leave the defaults for the, uh, the, the rest of the watermark information. And now I'm gonna upload some thumbnails. I mean some images. Okay, select files. I have a few on my desktop here. Okay, the third image is quite big, so it's taken a while. I'm just gonna use these two images here. Click insert into gallery. So two images are selected, and I'm gonna save the gallery. All right, there we go. There's all the settings in place, and there's the two images that we have in there. So what happens automatically, um, as soon as this gallery is created, it's given an ID um, of one. So that's what we would use in the short code to, on the page where we want to display this gallery, but actually the page gets created automatically, so I'll go to that right now and it becomes a sub page of the main um, photo gallery page. So here's the photo gallery, and now here's the, the, the food page because we just created a food um, gallery. Okay, so I'll just click on edit and show you that. What it does is just puts the short code in there with the ID of the photo gallery. So you can use that on a post even if you wanted to, but um, it creates it automatically, so we're just going to go with that and let's look at the actual photo gallery page. Alright, so for every photo gallery that we create, it'll be lined up here. So then if we want to look at the photos within this particular gallery, just click on that. And then now we can see the different options here. Alright, so if we click on one of the images, we can see it on its own page. There we go. So then we have the option of, um, here's the portrait if we wanted to get get a print of this, or if we wanted to buy a digital, we could just choose um, whatever quantity we want and then add it to the cart. You can see our watermarks embedded right in there. So we can make that a lot bigger if we wanted to. Um, but it's in the center, so it's just, it's going to be good enough. All right, so we can just buy one of these if we wanted to. Add to cart. All right, we can continue shopping, or we can just view the cart and check out. So that's really all there is to creating a gallery. Um, again, this is Keith Locke, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.